This is Financial Freedom is Yours with Eric Lee Brown. I'm so excited to be with you guys today. Um, what I'm talking about today is how to feed your faith and starve your fears to prosper. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you three nuggets that can help you with this. But first, I want to uh, start off by really showing you a biblical a biblical principle. In Proverbs 10, 17, the Word of God says, Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the Word of God. So, Basically, this principle can be used in a lot of other areas of your life. What you have to learn how to how to do is how to feed your faith and starve your fears by feeding yourself with the things that are necessary for you to thrive and starving your fears so that doubt and unbelief won't won't hinder you from going to the place that God really wants you to go. So listen, what I really want you to know is when you really believe something, you're you will not just talk about it, but you will do it. And so when you're feeding your faith, what you will begin to say, when you really believe something, you will begin to act on what you believe. You won't just talk about it. You hear a lot of people saying, hey, I'm going into real estate this year. I'm going to buy this many houses, that many houses. Well, you know the people that really believe, they are the people that act. And whether they have it or not, they will act and they will see what they're acting out because they truly believe. So let me give you three quick uh, financial nuggets real quickly. Um, the first one is listen to something every day that gives you more confidence in you and your own ability. Uh, find something that is exciting. Find something that stirs you up. Find something that sets you on fire. And these things, as you listen to it, what it will begin to do, it will begin to play itself over and over in your mind. So the first key, the first nugget is find something that you can uh, plug into your ears that gets you excited and, and builds up your faith and build up um, the ability that you know you have. The second nugget that I want to give you is start to focus your mind on where you are going and not where you are. Let your past pass and welcome your future. So what I'm saying, there was a book I read by Joyce Myers, and it's called The Battlefield of the Mind. And she said something that was spectacular. She said, think about what you're thinking about. So many people don't understand that throughout your day, your thoughts are poverty driven. Your thoughts are impoverished. You're always thinking about what you don't have. So what I want you to do is turn off the switch of poverty and turn on the switch of financial freedom in your mind so that you can begin to think about the ideas that could cause you to uh, walk in financial freedom, the ideas that can cause you to do things that other people don't believe that you can do. So the second key is start focusing in on where you're going. Make sure you set out a clear-cut goal. This is where I want to be by the end of next year. One of the things that I love about my wife, we get together and we talk about our financial freedom and financial goals and what we desire to do. And because we do that and set out the specific goals, both of us together now have more in our bank account than we ever had. So I'm telling you, start to focus your mind in on where you are going and not where you are. The third nugget that I want to give you is remind yourself daily where you are going where you are going, use words to line your life up with your bright future. Decree and declare what you desire to see in your life and possess it and own it and grab a hold of it through proclamation. There's a thing about um, um, people that are able or have the ability to prophesy their destiny. One of the things, if you are a believer, one of the things we are told to do as believers in Jesus is to follow after our Father. So the Word of God says um, um, in Romans, the fourth chapter, the 17th verse, that God calls those things that be not as though they were. So if we're his children, guess what we could do? We could declare now that we are wealthy. We could declare now that we are thrilled. And we could declare now that we're walking into our financial freedom. Why can we do that? Because we have the authority to call those things that be not as though they were. So we have the authority as children of God to bring things into existence that previous, previously wasn't in existence. So what I want you to do with that third nugget is I want you to begin to get up and declare that I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am thriving. I am disciplined. Whatever you need to declare in order to walk in the places in, in order to walk in your wealthy place. And I want you to know that God wants you to prosper. So many people are saying that, you know, um, um, they think for some reason that God wants you to be a uh, poor or baggerly. God is not raising you up to be poor and baggerly. God is raising you up to prosper, to dominate, to thrive. So use these three keys. And one of the last things I want to um, leave you with in the Old Testament, the word of God says that God has given us the power to get wealth. 
Where is that power at? That power is in his spirit that he has given us and the ability that we have to open our mouth and to decree and declare a thing and see it established. So I encourage you today, take these three nuggets and begin to speak with boldness and with confidence and declare today that I will succeed. I will thrive. I will walk in financial freedom. And I'm telling you, if you do it with faith and belief, your words are going to begin to create your environment and it's going to create the bright future that you are here. Headed to. Again, this is Financial Freedom is Yours with Eric Lee Brown. Believe it, receive it, and you will achieve it. Until next time, folks.